It is a rainy Sunday morning. We're gonna find some coffee and some breakfast, but one of the challenges we're noticing is that a lot of things aren't open on Sundays or and open later, like at nine or 10, which is kind of late for us. But we've gained a wolf pack. Uh, we've gone by two bakeries with no luck. We still have our dogs with us, so we're just gonna keep on going. Not quite sure what to do about that. I got a bit of croissant. I'm sure what I was expecting, but it looks like they just cut in half. They had to do some pudding in there. Yep. And that's exactly what it is. We're going to be going out of tour here soon to check out the Millennium Cross and the top of the Vodou Mountain and going into the Matic Canyon. But we're going to first make a stop to grab sushi. Seen some of the more scenic bridges, and this may be one of the least scenic bridges. We're running a little late with our tour because we went to the wrong place on Google Maps. So, but in a full tour of the base of the fortress. Which is pretty okay. Uh, we see a bus, so I hope that's it. And if not, we're not making this tour. I mean, there's no shot. I'm gonna where we go. Hi. Simon Miller. Yes, Miller. Okay, Simon Miller. Hot for tour. Very, very, very heavy name. But especially, mystery is the name issue. It is 75 years old. You know, the canyon, which is pretty nice, because everyone else was making a long walk, and we were able to drive our way in, and it's pretty cool. He's leading us somewhere, but I'm not sure where. In the canyon, we are able to take a boat to go on a kayak. We're taking a boat to get on to go check out a cave. Hey. We have like a 20 minute boat ride out to the cave, and then we're there for like 20 minutes, and then we'll make our way back. We're taking the boat, but it looks like you can walk out there if you really want to. So we landed on solid ground. We now have like a two minute walk to get to the cave. We also have thunder, so we're gonna try to move quick because I'd rather be in a cave. Uh, I'm not sure why I keep doing this. Like, I don't really have an interest in caves. Like, I've seen enough caves. I'm kind of over it. It's pretty cool. You get vibes of the one I went to in Vietnam, but or just any game in general. Yeah, the cave's pretty massive. Um, I'll be honest, I actually had no idea that this was gonna be here. I thought that this was just gonna make a boat tour maybe, but the cave's pretty huge. And now, we're going back in the boat. But you can search this symbol to Sumerians 3,000 years before Christ. Sumerians are in today Iran, Mesopotamia. Yeah. If you have some uh, some sort of uh, history in your in your mind, you can search this in Egypt, and you can search and see here because it is Neolithic stone, and this century, not 
removed, not wiped out, but present on the main elevation of church. So, and you can touch the stone because it is by word of mouth, gives you luck. Ugh. I don't know how their thumb curves like that. That symbol, that's what gives good luck. And that's the hope. But then at Kenyan, you also have a monastery, which is right here. And when we're on the boat, they talked about how they have one of the deepest caves within the world where they don't know where it actually comes from. I've had a couple of scuba divers come from around the world, and no one can figure out where it's coming from. But we're now on our way to the next church or to the cross. To the cave cars, not know where this guy's taking us. We were five minutes late waking on the bus, and and I think he's trying to make up for that time because they're walking as fast as humanly possible. Now with every peak, you'll find a church. Now we are now at a nun's monastery. Closely, because it is very important. Yeah. This stone shows that nobody left this land from the people from Neolithic time till today. And the name of this region was Matka at that moment, how it is today. So nobody left here, there are no refugees, the same people live here. How can we read that? You see, it is the silhouette of Matka, you see the mountains, okay? Shoot this, I'm going to show this. Okay. There are the mountains, okay? This is the river. See the river? And on the right bank, as it were, it's a cave. And what is in the cave? It's a triangle sign. That sign, everywhere in Neolithic, in Europe, in Asia, is Matka. So, it is Matka. The fresco painting that's in this church is supposedly at the start of the Renaissance art era, but you need cash to get in and we don't have it, so. The tour overall has some pluses and minuses. We thought that it was cool to go into the canyon and we really liked the experience of being on the boat. We also thought the cave was pretty cool even though it reminded us of other caves that we had been to. And because of the illness we weren't able to go up to the cross but no one told us until after I reached out to our agency and asked what had happened. And so instead of the cross we just went to a variety of monasteries which were cool but after you had seen one it was kind of enough. The tour guide also spent a lot of time talking about Christianity and how people had forgotten about the people of Macedonia, which some people found interesting because our tour mates were taking notes, but that wasn't really what I was trying to understand with my tour. Thanks so much for watching and hope you guys have a better idea of what to do. And if you want to see some more trail videos, then you can check out my channel page or if you want to be around for when I post my next video, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.